All right, you can see where it's turning purple. I used um, Adam's iron remover. Look at that. Hey, welcome to Uzulu Garage channel today. Today, can you believe it's been a year that Harper Charge One Coat has been on the Jeep? April 22nd of 2019 is when we put the first coat of Harper Charger on here. It's been a year. Look, let's look at it, see how dirty it is. Check out the hood. It's beautiful today on a Friday. It's 50 degrees. You can see where it's trash right here. It's dirty. I, seriously, I have not washed this Jeep and it's probably been about three months. It's just, man, it's been raining and the wife, the time she gets off work, it's dark and cold. Today's, uh, you know, we basically have been getting only like one day of nice weather a week. You know, no spring. You can see how trash it is. Might be able to get a better look out here. You can see all the junk on the flares. Check out the bottom. All right, we're gonna give a 12 month update. What I'm gonna do is show the water behavior on it before we wash it. And a lot of times too, I don't go buy the water behavior on the product. I've been learning that the last few months on different products. Some soaps mask it. And sometimes, and a lot of times you wanna go by when you wash the vehicle is the tar that's on, on your doors or wherever. Does it wash off easy? And if it's washing off pretty easy without using another product, to me, I think the product's working, even though you might not have a good beating or seating, you know, because a lot of times the soap uh, has a residue in it. And that's what I've been noticing on a lot of soaps, you know, and then I'll get the beading back after it rains for a couple of days and it comes right back. And then what I'm gonna do is I have a bunch of videos out on this product, us applying it and updates. I'm gonna have them at the end link. You guys can check them out. Because after six months, what I did is after the six months, I started using a uh, product to boost it to see if um, how long it would last for boosting it. And like I said, uh, we used it three times, I believe I used it. That nano skin um, supercharger, that's what it's called. Then I haven't used it in three months because I haven't washed the vehicle in three months. All right, let's get the water uh, test going. All right, let's wash it, let's see. I don't even know if it's, gonna, if it's dead or not. Yep, no beating, no shitting. That's what I expected. Be some mess. We'll wash it. We'll do the same thing after that. Wash it. Pretty much. A little bit here, but not much. Let's go to shower. Ready? Dead. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it with Praze Tar Soap. It doesn't have no wax in it, and it's pretty good soap for coatings. Uh, for me using it before, it seems like it doesn't leave a, a residue behind. We'll get a true test, but that still looks, that's pretty much dead, but we'll see how well the doors wash up. But I'm thinking, you know, from experience using this product, I believe uh, it started fan a little bit after six months. And then using those products, if I would have uh, boosted every month, I would have got better results with the water behavior. I believe with the one coat, I think you're gonna get it eight months out of the product. And then after that, you're gonna have to use a booster. All right, we'll, we'll talk about it at the end of the video also. Hey guys, right here, it's got like sap on it. It's not coming off, washing it. You guys can see a little bit comes off, but we got the, some right here, it's hard to come off. And I got some tar on the other side too that's not coming off. Right here, you can see the tar here that's sticking. So pretty much it's, uh, the hopper charge is done. Um, like I said, I say eight months out of it. And we'll just do a water test on the hood. And that's it, you can see some of the specs here I'm gonna use. You know, a tar remover and other things to uh, get rid, rid of that right here. You can see the yellow speck. We got another one here. So it's going to need an iron remover and stuff like that before I put a different product on there. So hopefully it starts warming up where I can start um, getting this uh, paint protected again. I think later on today I might, I'm going to clean these doors off and get rid of that tar, those uh, contaminants. I'm going to throw some, uh, come on guys, butter, butter wax on there. Give it a nice shine. It's only gonna last three weeks, but why not? I have the product and enjoy 
I enjoy waxing the car. Hey guys, I'm not gonna dry it off. We'll just do the water test. We know it's pretty much gone. Like I said, I go by the water behavior. It's dead, and um, if contaminants and stuff are sticking to it. So right there, guys. That's it, right there. All right, let me grab these products and we'll talk about it real quick. No. Right. You see where it's turning purple. I used um, Adam's iron remover. Look at that. See it? Not a lot on there, but you can show that that hypercharge is pretty much done, guys. I don't think it's the purple. Not much. If I'm waiting any longer, I'd be definitely have to be really scrubbing the paint. All right. All right, guys, the final thoughts on the hypercharge right here. Okay, about six months, it started showing a little bit of fading. And um, I believe with the one coat, if we wouldn't have did no booster, I'm thinking seven to eight months through my experience going through the winter with the soft. And then I used this once right here in the beginning when we first put the apply, used this and made a video on that. I'll have these, those videos at the end when you see them. Check them out. And then right here I used this soap right here. Baje, great soap, it doesn't have no wax in it. And I did use Sudbox soap too, Clarity. But right now he's not making it. He says he's gonna bring it back, and that soap's awesome if you have ceramic coating or even a seal. It doesn't strip it, and it doesn't leave any residue. That soap was awesome. I love that soap from uh, Suds Pots. I have videos on that product, awesome. And then what I did after six months is I used the Nail Skin Supercharger right here. It's the SiO2 Touchless Spray and Rinse Sealant. What you do is you spray it on there, and rinse it off into the pressure. And you're good to go and you can use this as a drying aid also spray it out here but now and then drive the vehicle off we're not going to use it today um we're gonna i want to put some wax on it some uh, some guys uh, butter wet wax on it just enjoy the day i want to get some sunshine today and just enjoy the weather that's a plan for today so yeah i believe um seven eight months with one coat two coats might have got a little bit longer but i'm thinking around the same time and plus too if uh, you guys have used this you guys getting on it for durability how long does it last for you guys comment below let everybody know that's what i want in this channel everyone to chime in and i'm gonna put another product on here another spray ceramic spray soon and uh as long as this weather starts holding up i got a bunch of stuff detailing to do on my other cars too the charger and the fusion so guys yeah appreciate you guys watching this video what do you guys think about this update can't believe it's a year you know it's it's hard to wait that long to test the product but with winter in michigan it's you can't really it's hard to do decal so we see how long products last it kind of helps our channel out and you get to see what these products can do another thing too i do have videos on this this is a great product right here you'll get over a month with one coating on this to boost your product awesome product all right, guys, thanks for watching this one. I hope to see you guys at the next video. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Later.